Hello guys, welcome back to my channel VFX Expert. So guys, in the today's class, we are going to see 3D camera tracking inside Synthize and also we will see scene orientation and manually scene scaling inside Synthize. So let's start the class here. So now we are inside Synthize. So first we have to import our sort. So just we have to click on file, new and just select your sort. So this is a sort here. So just we have to select the starting frame here. Now just we have to click on open. Then after this, just you can select your required frame rate. Now just we have to click on OK. Then after this, just we have to drag this sort. So insert this summary tab. So simply just we have to click on this big auto button here. Now this will track your sort and also this will solve your camera. Now we are inside the solver tab here and this is our camera solve here. And left side you will get this camera solve error, which is 0 0.54. So now after this, if you want to improve your camera solve, then you have to click on track, then clean up tracks. And just we have to click on the fix. Then inside this automatic drop down, just we have to select refine. Then we have to click on go. Now just this is our improved camera solve here. Now just we can play and just we can check our solve. So this is our camera solve here. So now after this, just we are going to see how we can manually orient scene and also how we can manually scale scene inside synthize. So now just we have to go to this 3D types here or 3D room. So this is our front view, then this top view and this is left view here. So first if you will see, so just I am getting some point which you are just by default synthesize will automatically define as a ground plane. So just you can see this point which is little bit showing in different color. So these just you can see here. So now first we have to unconstrained all these points here. Then we will start scene, scaling and orientation inside synthize so for this simply just we have to select all points simply just we have to press ctrl a then right click then go to these coordinates and unconstrained all points here now if you will click on this coordinate so just i am not getting any point inside this area here. again just we have to click on the 3d tab so first just i am going to orient our little bit scene here so if there is any requirement so just i am going to define our origin point so maybe suppose just I want to define this point as an origin point. So now just I am going to change color for this point. So usually just we can find this point. So for this just we have to select this point. Then left side just you have to click here and just we can select color. So maybe black color or any color just you can select which is visible. So now just you can see this one here. So this is just showing here this one here. So now usually just we can define over this scene origin point here or center point here. So simply just we have to take this move tool, then we have to click on hold and just I am going to adjust entire scene here. So just we can move this one here, even from this front view, yes we can also, so this is our original part, remember this one here. Well just properly just we can place it here. So now after this just if you want to check uh, this scene orientation all these things here. Then you can uh, click on this layout and just you can select this quad perspective here. Then you will get this uh, perspective view here. Just click on this lock. So just I am getting this actually the camera view here. So just you can see this one here. Now uh, suppose if there is any still requirement then you can just orient your scene by just selecting this rotation tool and just you can adjust all these things here. So simply just you can take this rotate tool then you have to click on this hole. And just if you want, you can just rotate from here. So just you can see this one. Then maybe little bit from here if you want, you can adjust. So maybe from here, I think little bit. Now again, just we have to take this move tool and just we can move this one here. So this is actually center points here. We just have defined for this scene here. Now just you can see this one here. So I think this is sufficient here till here. Now after this just I am going to see how we can scale our scene. So simply first here just save our project. Then we have to click on file, save. And just select your folder. So inside this folder just give a name. So now just we are going to scale our scene here. So simply again just we have to select this quad uh, view. So for this first just I am going to create a 6 feet character. 
so remember this one now we are inside this 3d tab here or 3d room here so inside this uh, geometry drop down just we have to select this earthlings and just we have to just create a six feet earthlings here or character just we have to click here and just we have to create so left side just you can see this value so simply just you can type it here 180 centimeter around so which is around six feet So now just type created this six feet character here. Now if you will see here, so just we have to scale our scene because this scene is very small here. So for this what we can do? So first just I am going to just take a reference for this character because in our this sort. So just I am going to take this character as a reference. So what I am going to do? So just I am going to select frame where is our actually this character position here. So just you can see this one maybe. So approximately just I am going to select so maybe around this one. Even just any point just you can select even if what you can you can also just take this point as a reference for this character here so any point that you can select so just I am going to select maybe this point. So this is actually near to this character feet here so just you can see. So now just we have to uncheck this hole then we can select this point and just give a different color so just we can find so maybe just select this red color just you can select now we have to press ok. So now after this just we have to place this character at this position here so simply as you can see. Just take this move tool and then select this character and then try to place it here maybe a little bit. So this is our point here very many things that we can adjust ok. So now after this just I have to add adjust about this scene scale so simply for this just we have to take this scale tool then we have to check this hole because just we are going to adjust our entire scene scale okay so just we have to click here then just simply just we can adjust scale so now if you will scale this one here so you will see actually character is also scaling here so as you can see but only just we have to scale our scene so now if you will again uncheck this hole now if we we'll select this character so now you will see this value has changed okay so just we have to maintain this character size which is 180 centimeter now after we just only just i want to adjust my scene skill so for this so now just i am going to adjust my scene skill but i don't want to affect this character this value here whatever just i have given so for this simply first we have to select this character then we have to right click on this character then go to this 3d then you will get this whole effect message so just we have to untick this one remember this one so again just we have to check again so then go to the 3d then we have to untick this one okay now if you will adjust this scene scale just uh, click on this hole now just i am going to adjust this scene scale so now if you will adjust this value so just only just i am affecting this scene scale not character okay so as you can see this one here so now just I am going to adjust this scene scale. So just scale. Then we have to take this move tool and just we have to maintain this positions. So because here just I am taking this character difference. So just approximately just we have to make this character around this character height, which is our actually original character here. So again, just we have to adjust this scene scale. Remember this one, okay? So just we have to adjust these things here. Now again just we have to take this move tool and just manually just we have to place it here. Again just we have to take scale and just manually just we have to adjust. So this is, so this is actually manual scene scaling inside synthize. Now just you can see this one. Now if we will see here I think uh, okay and then again we have to take this scale to and just we have to adjust this scale so maybe approximately if you will see so now i think this is just uh, near to this uh, character height so because this is just a six feet character but this character may be around uh, five feet five inch around okay so roughly just type adjusted this scene scale not properly but but easily just we can understand this was scene scales here okay so now if we will play and just we can check so this was scene scales and remaining thing if you want you can also adjust it here now i think this just matching here this scale just you can see 
सो नाउ सपोज इफ यू डोंट हैव एनी रियल करेक्टर सो हाउ जस्ट यू कैन एक्चुअली मैनेज योर सीन स्किल सो फॉर दिस सिंपली जस्ट यू कैन टेक एनी रेफरेंस दिस कैमरा व्यू सो जस्ट यू कैन टेक मे बी दिस स्टोर रेफरेंस और इफ देर इज एनी विंडो देन यू कैन टेक विंडो रेफरेंस सो सपोज नाउ दिस इज जस्ट सिक्स फीट करेक्टर सो मे बी अराउंड दिस स्टोर विल बी अराउंड मे बी एट फीट okay so if you want to test this one you say simply just you can move this character here so just roughly just you can test your scene skills now just i'm going to select this one so first maybe around so just you can if you move this one here so roughly just you can check this one here okay now just you can see this one here again if you will take through so now just you can see this uh, this is around 8 feet and this character is 6 feet here so just like this uh, you can take any uh, object reference then you can adjust your scene scale if uh, there is any no real character present okay so now again press control z now again i just select this quad view here so like they just simply just you can adjust your scene scale inside synthize now after this what we have to do because now if you will play so this is looking good here and just matching all these things here So now after this suppose if you will again go to the solver tab and if you will click on this go with this refine so this will destroy all the scene scale so for this what we have to do so after adjusting your scene scale we have to lock all these things so for this what we have to do so again press control z so now just i am going to lock this scene scale position and orientation all these things here so for this just we have to select some points in our this scene and just we have to make it lock point so i'm going to select some good points here so maybe just you can select any points like this one just you can select so four to six points just we have to select so hold shift and just you can select multiple points here so in different different maybe depth just you want you can just select then after this we have to come inside this coordinates then we have to click on this set seed points now you will get all these points here then after this in this unconstrained point we have to select this lock point so we have to lock all these point its own positions here then after this again we have to solve our camera so now then go to this solve tab then again just select this refine then click on this go So now again same thing just I am getting here, but now if we will play and just we have to check all these things here. So just select this quad view. Just yes, we can play now. This is matching properly here. Nothing has changed. So now if we will again if we will click on this go, so this will not do anything. Now just you can see. So this will maintain all these things here. Now simply just you can see all these things here. So like this, as you can lock your scene orientation and scene scale inside synthize. Now here just properly. just type is scale over this scene using manual techniques here a remaining thing uh, scene or center part all these things just you can adjust according to your requirement so maybe suppose just i want to make this point as a origin point so after locking all this point you can adjust your scene scale even scene orientation all this so everything just you can adjust so simply just i want to define maybe this point as your origin then just you can take this move tool then click on hole and just you can place it here So as you can see this one here. So now this is our actually actual points here. Now if we'll see, so now I will move and as you can check all these things here. Now this matching here properly. Then same age now. Now just from all view, just we have to check. So this is our center points here. Now same as suppose if you want to create another character, then you can create maybe another character maybe at this position here. So at any position, as you can create just only for testing purpose. So now just maybe just I am going to create character maybe near to this door here. So maybe around just you can select maybe around this point. So again uncheck this hole. Just select this one here very very point. This is actually point here. So again just click here and just select maybe other color. So just easily just we can find. So this is our point here. This one here. So again just. Same characters as you can take six feet character. So just click and just create a character. I'm going to make it around one eighty centimeters. And just you can you can see here from here that you can also see now this is actually near to this door. So around this edge, 
six feet. So, so now if we will match with this one here, so this is actually just uh, uh, around eight feet, and this is character is six feet. So just you can see now this is I think proper here. So like this is then I want you can just move this character little bit here. So usually just we can find all these things here. So remember this one just we have to play this character on this grid or on top of this ground here. So just you can see all these things here. Now I think these things are matching here. And still if there is any requirement then you can adjust your scene scale then simply you can select this scale scale then click on hole and just you can adjust your scene scale so like this simply just you can adjust your scene scale inside synthize so first area just save our project now just we have to check all these things here then after this just we can export this camera track for Maya then simply we have to click on file then export and just we can select this older then select this Maya scene original and just select your folder so inside this folder just I am going to give a name now just we have to click on save then this is your starting frame here and access XYG now just we have to click on OK so now come inside Maya so now we are inside Maya and just we have to import our camera track simply we have to click on file then open scene and just select your file so this is our file which just I have exported from Synthai so just we have to select then we have to click on open don't save now just type import over this camera track and inside Maya then simply we have to click on panel so then perspective and just select this camera view so now just you can see all these things here simply open over this main scene group then select this locator group and assign it over the display layer change this color so easily just we can see all these things here even if one you can also adjust your locator side but I think this is sufficient here then after just I am going to uh, just create a 6 bit character then click here import human IK so just you can see this one here then what we have to just play and just we can check all these things here so now just I am going to place where is even actually character position so just we have to find the frame maybe at this frame so now this is matching without this character here now this is looking good here and properly this matching this scene scale inside Maya because this character inside Maya is 6 is a 6 feet character okay so now just you can see all these things here now again come inside synthize so guys like this simply just you can adjust your scene scale inside synthize so if you like this video Please watch, share, comment and subscribe my channel if you are still not subscribed my channel. So thanks for watching.